Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to use different parameter types with Big IP Advanced Web, F5 Networks Industry Leading Web Application Firewall. This is Demo 15 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for intermediate level Big IP Advanced Web users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit malicious web application requests. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running advanced web. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the back-end web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request and can block all malicious requests, and prevent them from going to the back-end web servers. We'll start by looking at the virtual server we'll be protecting. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. On the virtual server security, policies page, you can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 14A, Parameters, Security Policy. Let's examine the Big IP Advanced WEF Parameters List page. Advanced WEF has already learned a few of the parameters used in this web application. Note that one of these is the name parameter. All parameters have a parameter value type of ignore value. This means that currently, Big IP Advanced WEF won't block requests based on what users submit into these parameters. We'll now access the DVWA web application and submit some requests into an input field. First, let's examine which user input field this is by inspecting the field. This is the name parameter we were just examining on the parameters list page. Let's first input a value that contains several special keyboard characters. Such as the hashtag, the percent sign, the dollar sign, and the ampersand. The next request is an extremely long request. Next, we'll attempt to submit the form without inputting any actual data into the field. And finally, we'll input an iframe attack string. This parameter is currently accepting all types of data including several special keyboard characters, very long requests, empty requests, and attack strings. We'll now configure the parameter to limit the type of data that users can input into the field. We'll select the name parameter. First, we'll clear the Perform Staging checkbox. This is what enables Big IP Advanced WEF to enforce the settings we're about to configure. Notice the allow empty value option is not enabled. Now that the parameter is enforced, this will prevent users from submitting empty values on the web page. Next, we'll change the parameter value type to user input value, which specifies that the parameter's data is provided by user input. We'll also change the maximum length to 150 characters. We use the value meta characters page to identify the keyboard characters that are allowed, or not allowed, for user input. Notice that several meta characters are already disallowed for this parameter. We'll select the asterisk, the forward slash, the art symbol, and the caret. and then specify that each of these special keyboard characters are disallowed. 
Finally, we'll examine the attack signatures page. Let's look up the iframe signature. Notice that Big IP Advanced WEF is already checking for violations for the iframe attack signature. We'll now update the parameter and then apply the policy. Let's attempt the same requests we made earlier. The request with the special keyboard characters is now blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy. The extremely long request is also blocked by Advanced WEF. Attempts to submit an empty request are blocked. And the iframe cross-site script attempt is blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Let's examine these blocked requests in the Big IP Advanced WEF event log. First, we'll filter the log files to view only blocked log entries. The first request was blocked because there were six illegal meta characters. The log file displays every illegal character that was submit, the parameter affected, and displays the entire submitted value. The second request was blocked because of an illegal length. The log file displays the detected length and the expected length. The third request was blocked because the name parameter was submit with an empty value. The fourth request was blocked for several reasons. One of which was that it matched an attack signature, which was the iframe signature. Next, we'll use an integer user input parameter. Let's submit this text string into the field. We'll also enter the numeric value of 200 into the field. Both of these values are currently legal for the name parameter. However, we only want to enable users to enter numeric values between 1 and 100 into this field. To do that, we'll change the parameter data type to integer. We'll also change the minimum value to greater than or equal to 1 and the maximum value to less than or equal to 100. We'll update the parameter and then apply the policy. Let's attempt the requests we made earlier. This request is allowed as it's an integer value between 1 and 100. The request with the text string is now blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. The request for 200 is also blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy. Let's examine the blocked requests in the event log. The first request was blocked because it was the wrong data type. The log file displays the parameter, the value that was input, and the expected data type.
The second request was blocked because it contained an illegal numeric value. The log file displays the value that was input and the expected maximum value. Next, we'll create a static content value parameter. First, we'll change the name parameter back to an alphanumeric data type. Next, we'll show how this input field is currently accepting any text strings. We only want to enable users to enter one of a few specific values. We'll change the parameter value type to static content value. We'll now enter a short list of values. These are the only values that this parameter will accept. Let's test by entering a value that is not on the list. The request is blocked. Let's try entering a value that's on the list. This parameter will now only accept requests containing one of three different values. Let's examine the blocked request in the event log. The request was blocked because it violated the static parameter value. The log file displays the parameter and the value that was input. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using different parameter types with F5 Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos. And for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.